Welcome back. I'm Achara Kirk, joined by Sintel. Hey, just hands, just hands, just, just hands. hands. <laughs> Sorry for the delay, you guys. My God, you guys have a voracious appetite for this show. We're trying our best here, okay? So we're on to the finale, and sometimes you have to wait for good things. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's worth it. We're on season three, episode eight. It's called Hamla. All right, let's jump into it. Here we go. विधायक अगर मिल गया तो आप खाली टेम्पो भेज दीजिए का बस लौटते समय आपको रिंकी को बाजार से उठा लेंगे Have fun. Hmm, have fun. <laughs> you know this horse buying is gonna go crazy, right? Like it's not gonna go well. Hundred percent. Oh, oh, he got the attitude though, oh, right? Oh, he does. <laughs> Excuse me. घोड़ा खरीदना है. Yeah, I understand how you gonna flex with a car like that though. Born gone, sir. Like that's just that just doesn't scream wealth. Oh my god, he was like just he was pretending. He did such a good job. ये घोड़ा कौन से वैरायटी का है? घोड़े का वैरायटी नहीं. The white kind. Breed होता है. कौन सा breed है? पंजाबी 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 भुटिया मणिपुरी पंजाबी पंजाबी में क्या है है बढ़िया दाम 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 बताओ दाम तो हम बता देते लेकिन तुम्हारी गाड़ी से महंगा पड़ेगा के ऊपर थोड़ा मिठाई खा लेना चांदी के बरखे वाला <laughs> That's a flex. Money talks. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, were you really crying over the horse? The animal killing you? <laughs> he crying over losing some status. That's all he's caring about. Tumse alag hona kitna mushkil ho raha hai hamare liye. Log kehte hain ki hum janwaron ke prati krur hain. Phir aasu kahan se aa rahe hain? Are you just putting on a show? I need you yeah, to calm down. Yeah, somebody must be taking pictures. लेकिन वो पंडित जी ने कहा कि पशु पक्षी से दूर रहने के लिए oh, the horse is acting its heart out. It sure is. सितारा आज से आपका बच्चा हुआ इसको बहुत प्यार से रखिएगा हम आएंगे कभी कभी इससे oh, कौन सा गांव बताए जनपुरा विद्यार्थी वो आधार कार्ड का फोटो कापी ले ली है hmm. Oh shit! This is I'm I'm stressed actually now. Oh, when he sees that horse. Ja, 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 ja. But you know what? We gotta see him kind of go through this, cause when he sees that horse again, <laughs> his he, reaction is gonna be yeah. gonna be crazy. Wow! They got that little bitty car pulling that big old trailer with that yeah. heavy behind horse. Oh God! I'm scared for the horse if they go over potholes. Yeah. I would take the horse out and just ride it at that point. <laughs> अब आप दामाद नहीं रहे गांव के बेटा बन गए हो। Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, he did put himself out there though. I mean, he really did. गांव का बेटा क्या क्या धन्यवाद मत कहिए। Oh, ये तो हमारा फर्ज था। That's so sweet. Okay, okay, I'm gonna turn around. Trying to be a good dude. Uh oh, oh no. Oh yeah, oh, here come the no. snitching. The here come the snitching. Village troll. Shit. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, that's almost scarier. It's almost worse, yeah. What the? Ooh. No what? way. Huh? No. No. No way. No. Oh. Okay, I was about to say that he doesn't strike me as the type to do that. Dang. But he does strike me as the type to bring that. That's true. Hello. Ah, shit. Yeah, mess with that man's heart. What the? Call the press. That's the only. <laughs> that's the only way we get out of this situation if the press is there. He cares more about his image. His, yeah, exactly. Hey, Bitaj. Galat ho jayega, Bitaj. Bosan ba. सामने से गाड़ी हटा विधायक जी खून खराबा से आज तक किसी का भला हुआ है बताइए विधायक हाथ जोड़ रहे हैं। 
you should have just I would have just stepped out of the way and then called someone he didn't know mm. हम लोग गांव के लोगों को समझाएंगे कि छल से आपका घोड़ा खरीद कर प्रधान ने गलत किया है विधायक जी पानी पी एस ही काम डाउन आई फील अ स्लैप कम ओ आई न्यू इट तू कहां था वो कहां था ओह माय गॉड हियर इट इज अभी बज रहा है एक अगर तीन बजे तक हमरा घोड़ा इधर से आता हुआ नहीं दिखाई दिया याद रखना फिर गोली खेलेंगे नहीं हम Ooh. Thankfully, he's giving him two hours. Is that enough time? I don't know, but he need to pick a side. You gonna stick with your village, or you gonna stick with this crazy man? Yeah, exactly. अब गांव वालों को क्या करना चाहिए? अब तो एक ही रास्ता बचा है. कहाँ? ये है कि अब सारा गांव जवार के लोग बंदूक बार चले के या खून खर्चर करने चले. What? What a turn! जब तक गांव में खून की नदी नहीं बहेगी, तब तक प्रधान जी को शांति नहीं मिलने वाला। पहले खून की नदियां बहाएंगे। Is this some sort of reverse psychology? I have no idea. मैं सवाल फिर से दोहरा रहा हूँ। हमें घोड़ा लौटाना चाहिए, या फिर उसके लिए लड़ना चाहिए? लड़ा देना चाहिए। Obviously that was going to be their answer. इमें इतना का सोचना है। सोचना तो पड़ेगा बिन भैया that's true though. Yeah. Pardhan ji apna politics chamkane ke liye tumhara support kiye ho. Lekin main baat hai ki support kiye. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. Okay. He came in strong. Hame ghoda lotana chahiye? Ya phir uske liye ladai karni chahiye? Lota diye to gaon ka izzat jayega. Aur rakh liye to jaan jayega. So what to do? Vidhayak agar banduk dikha raha hai to humko hi banduk dikha deni chahiye. No. Pardhan ji ka jawab hawa wali se. I don't know. I feel like the first thing you do is call the press. I think what you're saying is, is right too, but I guess it would take so long. It's the only thing I can think of. I don't know about that. The dude is hot tempered right now, though. I think Havabaji is. गोली चलानी होती तब तक चला देता वो और अगर हवा बाजी नहीं हुआ सही में किसी को गोली लग गया तो exactly yeah that part तो लेना पड़ेगा बाकी आप प्रधान हैं आपको जो फैसला सही लगे ठीक है घोड़ा गांव में ही रहेगा पर पहला गोली हमारा तरफ से नहीं चलना चाहिए agreed agreed if that's gonna happen my man over there is like oh my god Oh, Sitara. Everyone's fighting over you. <laughs> oh. Ooh, the shoddy. <laughs> yes, the bamboo. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay. Everybody's here. कि गोली चलेगी नहीं और दूसरी बात ये कि मान लो अगर गोली चल जाए तो सबको पता है क्या करना है क्या करना है बात कर देना है That's scary Yeah, I still like to show support. It is समय आ गया है गांव की शांति के लिए Okay, what choice you better make? बलिदान अब किसका बलिदान देना है? Who will you sacrifice now? अपना I was afraid of this. Like what? Do you want to get shot in the butt? Like what? सबको नेता बनना है ना Okay. Oh, they're just waiting for him to arrive? Well, I guess waiting for 3 o'clock to hit. Oh, he got the high ground. <laughs> yeah. Stay awake, my man. You're the sniper up there. What? 
She got the white flag out already. It's just the looks that are really doing it for me. <laughs> Okay. He didn't even try to put his gun away. <laughs> He's like, I don't care about this cop. If he goes through with this, he cannot keep his position as legislator. That would be wrong. Yeah, but here's the thing. I don't know how politics goes down over there, so... Yeah. I would assume that you do something like this, you know, you, you'd lose your... You lose your job, but maybe there's a lot of other stuff that we're missing. Yeah, maybe. You need to call more police over here. Mm. All right, we're ready. Well, who are you raising your voice to? That's all lady you raising your voice to. Yeah, go arrest that guy, not these people. All right, wow. We got an army, we got an army. He you got sticks, we got people. sticks. Oh, and bigger guns. That's scary. Yeah. What? Okay, scary, 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 scary. Mm-hmm. They're all like, we'll take a bullet, but they are out of the way. Ooh. Oh my god, oh my god! Alright, 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 alright. Everybody calm down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, just shut up. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. What? Wait, what, what, what? Did she say just let him shoot? What's going on? She's like, don't make me pull this car over. Oh, oh this dang. has been escalated. Mm. Yeah. yeah. This makes me just he like. He feels so much darker and more sinister. Yeah. I do not trust politicians on a good day. I definitely do not trust them now. Whoa. All right. <laughs> yeah, you fire shots, we fire reload, shots. Reload, reload. Mm. He ain't gonna forget that though, believe that. He is such a bully. Yeah, take the victory for now. You need to stand with your village. I wonder if there's at any point where like Bushan and those guys will eventually join the villagers or if they're always going to be antagonists. Ooh, what now? Ooh, right, two weeks later. <laughs> oh no, what if they're being sabotaged? What are you going to do with the horses? That's true. Because he's giving it to you. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
I, I hear him. I feel him. Yeah. Oh, goodness me. Who the oh. hell? What the? What the? Huh? Oh, he really shot. Why are you walking like that? Oh, he's coming back. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What are you arguing over? Yeah, on the bus. Go, go, go. Everybody! Good thing that they can't shoot straight. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. What is happening? Jump, come, come on, jump down. Holy crap. Not cool, not cool. Th throw a brick. Oh, my gosh. Why have they not shot them? Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, come oh, on, no. man. No. Okay, maybe... Okay, well, he's still alive. Yeah. He's still alive, but he's still alive. Such a view. You have to tell me that a little bit later. I'm in the moment right now. That part, they're going to be Bushan, don't they? Yeah. But what if he didn't? Yeah, exactly. Who did it? This dude shows up to the hospital? Yeah. I like, can't with this guy. Get the F out. I can't with this dude. Just leave. Because you want to get bopped in the face. Then who did? The sinister dude that was by the pool. Yeah, maybe. That part. Just a snake. You tried to order someone to break Bam Bahadur's legs and that didn't even work out. Okay, someone was about to get slapped. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, we we know that he gets. <laughs> Did you see the kicks? <laughs> oh, thank him. All right, <laughs> get him. Yo, Vicky's good fight. That's hilarious. <laughs> BJJ, let's go. Oh, oh, oh no. that's gonna sting. Ah. Ah. Ouchie! Oh, he hurt himself too. It was really hot. <laughs> <laughs> this fight right here. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the dumbest fight. I love it. <laughs> Look, I'd rather this than guns, though. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Oh On yeah, the feet. get those open ouch, toes. Ouch, get ouch. those open toes. Ooh. Oh, oh no! Oh shit! Here we go. Sugar cane. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! ah. <laughs> Bamboo versus sugar cane. There we go. <laughs> this escalated. Oh my god, now the cops are here. Oh gosh. Damn. Everybody's all bruised up. <laughs> and even the MLA is locked up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> as soon as he gets in, he gets into a squabble. Oh, that's funny. Oh, yeah. Sabka chul saan. Mil gai kaleji ko tanda kaan sa. Parke ek dam phantom bane ja raha hai. Aray, ye kaise kaise loog hai. Kya hooga is this? Raja mein agami panchaat chunao ke maddhe nazar. 
बलिया जिला प्रशासन साफ सुथरे चुनाव करवाने के लिए पूरी तरह से तैयार और कटिबद्ध है अगर कोई भी चुनावी प्रत्याशी शराब या पैसे बांटते या हथियार लहराते पकड़ा जाता है जबकि उसके खिलाफ न्यायोचित कार्रवाई की जाएगी He knows. I bet it's that dude that was at the yeah. by the pool. That's why I'm just guessing. जिले में शांतिपूर्वक और निष्पक्ष चुनाव करवाने के लिए CRPF की दो कंपनी सहित 10,000 से अधिक जवानों की तैनाती की जाए. Wow. झगड़ा, झंझट, मारा, पीटी, खेसा, किसी अब जाके लग रहा है पंचायत इलेक्शन आ गया. Is this what happens in a village council election? Ah, luck to rai ke. Dang. Panchayat election. So that's what season four is going to be about. The election, huh? Right. What a way to kickstart that. I thought they would at least maybe tease who was the one who did it. But maybe that's to be, you know, investigated in season four. Okay. No! That was, that was a good setup. It felt like a two-parter because we had to we had to kind of close out what happened with all this season, you yes. know, with the MLA and everything. And then it kind of just, like, ended. You know, I guess Abu Shek was getting ready to take off. And then the second season, the second part of the season kind of started off midway through this episode. And yeah. now everything jumped off with the fight. I thought this was really well done. This was a really good episode. You gave really a good. lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I gave a lot. How'd you feel? No, I, I thought this was great. Someone, like, on one of our earlier reactions, because I, I was saying, like, Oh yeah, I love this show. There's no violence, blah blah blah. And they were like, ha 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, what are they talking about? And I've been watching the entire show, and I'm like, okay, yeah, there's there's little moments, but nothing that bad. And then this episode happened, and I was so scared. I was really scared that they were gonna like try and do something completely different and unexpected by like killing someone yeah and that would have really upset me because like yeah. that's not the tone of the show that i signed mm -hmm. up for but right. i really appreciate how they're able to have these like really scary shocking moments but then also have moments of comedy right after so you're like mm. you you get you know pent up and you're you're nervous and scared and, and you're like wound up and then the release comes in t in like the comedic relief which is the stupid fighting that happened <laughs> yeah yeah ridiculous fights <laughs> <laughs> yeah yo they did some interesting things too that i was kind of like unexpected like they spent a considerable amount of time on a scene where the mla is really sensitive and like at first it's completely unbelievable right. absolutely unbelievable i'm still like 75 percent not really believing it but it did give me that 25 percent of doubt to be like is he a human being because you know he really cried over this horse like we spent a, a considerable amount of time on that scene so yeah. i'm wondering like like these these writers these writers and the director of the show and the showrunner is, is really good is really good at what they do and they, they do a very good job of setting things up too and I'm wondering if they did that on purpose to maybe have us have, you know, maybe a different look at the MLA. You know, I still don't like them. Don't yeah. get twisted. I still don't like them. But it it casts like a seed of like doubt to his being 100% pure, mean and evil. Maybe there is a human element to him. I don't know. I agree with you. I think that's what they were really trying to do. But the problem is this guy has been set up as such an awful character that it's really hard for me as a viewer to then see that and be like oh he's just a human too do you know what i mean mm. like i get it I, I get it and i think that's realistic you know because even even someone who is maybe viewed as being very evil there's probably something or someone that they really care about in his case mm. it's a white horse but 
yeah, for me personally, I still found it really hard to have any sympathy for him at all because, like, I abhor him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I know there's some interesting stuff too that's kind of like there's some context with white horses, you know, the be, be, be what is it? This, is it a revelations thing? Like, beware the white horse because it with it comes like war and all kinds of stuff. Oh. And, you know, I, 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 maybe you all in the chat can help me. I don't know where it comes from, but I do know that there's some symbolism with like white horses in the end of days kind of thing kind of going wow. on. And now that, you know, we've actually seen, you know, bloodshed, <laughs> even though it's just smacks and stuff, it still, it still symbolizes like, okay, things are never kind of going to be the same again. There is going to be a bit of war because it's an election in a sense you know, rival sides fighting each other and, and what does that look like? And then I think the best thing, or what I thought was really good is the like, like when I was a kid, there was this show called Dallas that came out, it was a late night soap opera. And they had this one thing called, this one episode called like, Who Shot JR? Who was like the main guy of this, of this show. And this entire season was built around the premise of who was the person that shot the hero of the show. And that's what this kind of feels like. Even though he didn't die, he just got winged. But there's casts of doubt everywhere. You know, we had, right. we had doubt regarding, you know, is it the MLA that did it? Um, is it a Bouchon who did it, who might have done it? Uh, is it the guy that's um, the guy that was by the pool that kind of settled everybody down, settled the MLA down and said, this is a game of chess. And then there's also a little sh a shout of a seed of doubt um, when it comes to... Um, um, whether like Pradhan did it himself, whether he did it himself, yeah, because his back is against the wall. He doesn't really have Pralad as his backer anymore. You know, his people, things are kind of shifting and changing. And and even though I love him, he does think about himself. You know, like a considerable like like if we're being truthful, like one of the things that Bashan has said, it was like, yo, this is a beef between these two men, and they're dragging all of us into it. And yeah. there, there was some truth to that. So it does kind of like cast once again a little like seed of doubt. Yeah, know? I definitely had that thought flash through my mind even before the MLA said it, because I was like, yeah. that would be kind of a crazy messed up move but also kind of genius because i wasn't thinking about it in terms of election and and him gaining sympathy but i was like what's the best way to to take this mla out is by framing him in a sense and actually making it seem like he really wanted to hurt someone and like an attempted murder charge on a person as opposed to a murder charge on a dog uh mm. i would imagine <laughs> that the trying to kill a person is much worse than than killing a dog you know yeah. or at the yeah, very least so. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna get in a whole load of trouble and and maybe get taken out of the picture altogether. so that did mm. cross my mind and i was like that would actually be a kind of diabolical way to try and take him out but mm. i don't know i don't know if pradhan has i don't know like the the guts the the forward thinking the wherewithal to to do all of that so yeah it's yeah. a big question mark for sure and i feel like you know with with the change in the music for the outro mm -hmm. and like all the the funny but no doubt violence that we've been seeing at the end of the season and then having the the cop and the other guy be all like oh yeah it feels like election time i'm like mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. is this is this your warning show or you know like just kind of gearing us up for upping the ante for the next season which feels like it's gonna be a little bit or if not a little bit then like a lot more crazy than this season was yeah, I listen, think. and I'm here for all the drama. <laughs> <laughs> Please bring it, bring it to me. I want this. Yeah. <laughs> and then also the repercussions for uh, Abhishek as well. Like his cousin was saying, you know, like, because yeah. even if he gets a good score, if he has that mark against him with the arrest and whatnot, he may not even be able to get into the school he wants to go to or any school at all for that matter. So, jeez. Man, what a record. Ugh. He should have oh, kept his so cool good. head. <laughs> delicious, delicious drama. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so good. This episode was wild, you guys. No wonder everyone was like, where is that? I want it. Okay, calm down. You got it. Okay. <laughs> good things come to those who wait. 
So <laughs> anyway, guys, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Did you enjoy season three of this show? I, I still think that they're going so strong. You yeah. know, like there there have been some shows where as they get along in the seasons, you kind of feel like they're getting a little tired and they're like running out of ideas and it's not as good as it was in the beginning. Mm -hmm. But this show is definitely still a banger. Yeah, I, I love I love the the stakes keep getting bigger and bigger. First season was about a man. Second and third season is more about the village. And now the, the fourth pending season is just getting larger and a little bit larger and larger, but it's still good and it still keeps his heart. Yeah. That's, that's the thing. The show keeps the heart. 100%. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for joining us. Make sure that you head over to Centel's channel. If you miss seeing his beautiful face, go hang out with him there. Subscribe, all that good <laughs> stuff. And we will see you next time. I'm Achara Kirk. This is... Hey, it's your boy Centel. Ciao.